In this session, we're going to take a look at installing Easy Digital Downloads and what you get out of the box. I want to first show you my Pages section because that's going to change after install. I have four pages, Contact, Events, Events Registration, and an Image Test. Now let's do the install. As you can see here on this page, there are a number of free add-ons for EDD also. Two hundred and twenty-nine items. The first thing we see is a great big welcome screen, similar to what WordPress itself gives you. There's a nice What's New section here. Getting started and credits. Let's take a look at the What's New page. We have Combine, View, and Edit screens. Responsive and mobile friendly, that's great. Per Products, Sales, and Earning Crafts, that's great. Dramatically improved taxes. Better support for large stores and a bunch of other updates. Now let's look at that Pages page again. And you can see here now we also have a checkout page with child pages of purchase confirmation, purchase history, and transaction failed. EDD created these pages for us. Let's edit one and see what's there. As you can see, they simply have short codes in them, which means you could create different pages if you wished and include these short codes. Then later in the settings, we can declare what pages we want to use if we want to use something other than the defaults here. If you go back to the plugins page, you can see that there's a general settings link. That is the same as this one under the new downloads menu item. This download section can be thought of as products if you are accustomed to products in a regular e-commerce store. And behind the scenes, they're actually a custom post type. So if you're familiar with custom post types, it might help to think of them that way, which is why you have at the top here all downloads, add new, and categories and tags, similar to any other custom content type. We also have here payment history, discount codes, reports, general settings, tools, system info, and add-ons. We'll take a look at a couple of these in this session, and the rest in another. Let's look at add-ons. These are add-ons which we do not have yet, but you can get them directly in this interface without having to go out to the web for them. System Info tells all about the system your site is on. This is particularly useful when debugging. If you go to ask for support, they'll probably ask you for the contents of this page. Tools is pretty simple. There's Import and Export. This page allows you to export all your settings for this store, but not the products. The products can be exported on the reports page. But these tools allow you to move the store from one site to another, which can be really valuable. In the next session, we'll take a look at the settings area. 